Okay, so <clears throat> here's a little explanation on how to use the um, Polymux uh, channel switching on the RKW2 and the Digitect. Um, because, well, standard on the RKW2, the number of channels are set to four, and maybe you want to use only a few or maybe even more for your polyphonic uh, synthesizer, your polyphonic Digitect. So I'll start by uh, showing you how to get the Digitech software on the RK2 and yeah, how you can change the parameters. So first you go to doy.retrokids.com, you enable access to the MIDI interface. Now use the RK006 for programming. I've got the MIDI out connected and the MIDI in on these ports. It reads out the cable and sees there's a focus sample software on it. And uh, yeah, now I'll just program the Digitect software. When you open it, you'll see some short description on uh, what the software does, and then you can click upload. And uh, yeah, here in the uh, description, you can see some uh, uh, short explanation on uh, the firmware, and you'll see the base channel for the Polymax is channel 9. And you can also see the parameters here. You can change them if you want to change MIDI channels. And you could also change the amount of poly here. But we'll see that uh, in this Polymax description, you can also change the amount of poly with a program change. So we need to send a program change on MIDI channel 9 in order to change the polyphony on the Digitect. So I have a few settings on the Digitect I can verify. Like the sync, you want to send sync out but not actually receive it. Transport is start stop, you want to send it but not receive it because yeah, the Digitect is like the master unit and the clock is essential for the RK2 to slave like the uh, Euclidean patterns but it doesn't need to send it back. Output auto channel to channel 16, uh, not to channel 9 because it put double some notes and I have the channels uh, set from 1 to 8 for the samples and channel A to H are set uh, to MIDI channel 8 to 16. So I'll plug in the RKW2. So the, I plug it in the MIDI in, the orange part, and I use the TRS A to DIN 5 cable which you get with the RK2. So you can plug it on the MIDI out of the electron. So you'll hear I have the same sample set from MIDI channel 1 to 7 and when I press a note on channel 9 I can rotate through those channels and you see there are 4 active, it's default, I can play chords and yeah, if I want to change the amount of channels, the poly channels, I need to activate the program change. I do that with function D and now you can see a number here, you can dial the amount of poly here and now, well, it's set to 4, like it was, but if I dial it to 7, you see it rotates through more channels. So now I have 7 voice polyphony, and now I have 3. So yeah, basically that's how you can change the polyphony on the RK2 without uh, having to connect it to a computer every time.